Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche Design. In this video, you're going to learn how to add a moon to your image in Adobe Photoshop. Let's start by duplicating your background layer. Next, create a brand new layer and use the elliptical marquee tool from the toolbar to draw a circular selection while holding the shift key. Click on edit in the top menu and choose fill. From the drop down, select white and then click OK. Use the move tool to adjust, transform and scale the circle to your liking. Rename the layer to moon. Now create one more layer and then click on filter from the top menu. Choose clouds from the render drop down and then drag one of the corners to scale it up a bit. Use the control or command D shortcut to deselect the current selection. And then while holding the control or command key, click on the moon's thumbnail. This will activate a marching end selection around our moon. Now select the clouds layer and click on the layer mask button. Next, select both the moon and the clouds layer and drag them to a new group. Now select the moon layer one more time and then click on filter in the top menu and choose Gaussian blur from the blur dropdown. Pick a radius value of around five pixels and then click OK. This will ensure that our moon doesn't look too sharp. Change the blending mode of the group to linear dodge. From the new adjustment layer menu, choose gradient. Now select radial from the style dropdown. Click inside the gradient to open the gradient editor. Expand basics and choose foreground to transparent. Make sure both the stops in the gradient bar are set to white and then click OK. Now drag the gradient to inside the moon and then reduce the scale to 60%. Click OK when done. From the new adjustment layer menu, click on curves. Rename this layer to dodge. Drag the curves line up a bit to your liking and then click on the layer mask and use the control or command I shortcut to invert it. Let's add one more curves adjustment layer. This time bring the curves line down a bit. Rename this layer to burn and use the control or command I shortcut to invert the layer mask. Click on the brush tool from the tools bar and make sure the flow is set to 5%. With the foreground color set to white, paint over the areas that you would like to darken. I'm going to darken the corners of this image to add a vignette look. Now select the dodge layers layer mask and paint over the areas that you would like to brighten. Feel free to play around with the opacity slider for both the dodge and the burn layers. From the new adjustment layer menu, select color lookup. Click on the lookup table dropdown and select the edgy amber preset. This should bring everything together nicely. Adjust the opacity slider to your liking. To add a glow effect to the Eiffel Tower, click on the background copy layer and select the quick selection tool from the toolbar. Now hit select subject and use the plus minus brushes to clean up the selection. Duplicate the background copy layer and move it all the way to the top. Click on the add layer mask button and change the blend mode of this layer to color dodge. Play around with the opacity slider to adjust the intensity of the glow effect. Finally, let's look at the before and after images. Looks good to me. Make sure you like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.